some point in the 1980s, Titus Kiondo Muya became tired of being employed and he quit his job in the Ministry of Home Affairs. His calling was to establish a financial institution with a simple focus, providing banking services to the unbanked majority in rural areas. Now, to do so, Muya created a Mwanainchi friendly financial institution where Juakali artisans, small scale farmers, primary school teachers, nurses, matatu drivers, watchmen, and people, so many other Kenyans could walk in and seek services without feeling intimidated. And thus, Family Finance Building Society was born to provide financial services to the vast majority of Kenyans who were being ignored or mistreated by mainstream banks. From those humble beginnings, Family Finance Building Society grew to become a fully-fledged bank in 2007, and that is when the name changed to Family Bank. Now today, Family Bank has close to 70 branches spread across all parts of Kenya and an asset base of 26.02 billion shillings, according to the industry regulator, the Central Bank of Kenya. Those are statistics for last year, by the way. Family Bank has over 1.2 million account holders, making, making it one of the largest banks in terms of customer base. Family Bank was in the news recently with reports that the long-serving chairman and founder of the bank, Titus Muya, is set to retire, and his place is going to be taken by Wilfred Kiboro, who has been chairman of Standard chartered bank and of course had an illustrious career with nation media group now although family bank started as a financial institution principally owned by the muya family over the years other shareholders both local and foreign have joined in besides inviting a strategic shareholder in the form of a consortium comprising african best of mauritius fmo of netherlands and nor fund of norway family bank has expanded its shareholder base by selling shares to its customers now, the bank's long-term plan is to get listed on the Nairobi Securities Exchange in a few years' time. So you still have a chance to own a piece of Family Bank when it finally goes public. But for now, let's get acquainted with the top shareholders of Family Bank. Now, since the shares are neither listed nor traded freely, we shall not put a cash value to the shares. But bear in mind, this is a financial institution with an asset base close to 30 billion shillings, and it made a pre-tax profit of 500.6 million shillings in 2010. Now let's have a look at the shareholders. And at number nine, we have, as we said, the customers play a role and others are smaller investors and they make up 30.6%. At number eight, it's a name that you know and he's seeking the governorship. Uh, of Nairobi. Evan Skidero, former CEO of Mumia Sugar, he holds 1.3%. At number seven, we have Daikyo Plantations Limited, which is a firm owned by the Muya family, holding 2.9%. At number six, we have Julius Kiondo, a local businessman and relative of Titus Muya, holding 3.5%. At number five, Family bank employees hold 5% of the company. At number four, we have the founder, Titus Kiondo Muya, with 6.8%. At number three, it's Nancy Wanjikunyaga holding 10.2%. At number two, we have the estate of Rachel N. Muya with 17.9%. And at number one, we already mentioned this consortium, and it is a consortium of African Vest, FMO, and Norfund with 22.4% of Family Bank. And there you have it. Those are the top shareholders in Family Bank. Time now for our quote of the week. It's a special one. And it reads, do your little bits of good wherever you are. It is those little bits combined that overwhelmed the world.